substitute 1.2 theta equal to t. Let's put here that 1.2 of protein. 1.2 theta is equal to t, or theta is equal to twice t. Differentiation, differentiating it with respect to t. So we get it will be d theta is equal to twice dt. What are the limits here? Again, the limits are that theta is equal to pi t equal to pi by 2 t equal to pi by 2 and at theta is equal to 0 t equal to 0 so here let me change the marker what do we obtain this is twice d theta equal to twice dt twice dt here twice dt d theta equal to so this twice into 16 is 32 pi a cube here it is 0 to pi by 2 now limit Okay, and sign this is sign 4 t. This is cos square t into dt. This is the integral now. Now, integration of this, let me write here. So, final integration, okay, let me write this. The volume of that whole reel will be this much. So, the volume of the reel is 32 pi a cube. Now, by gamma function, apply gamma function here. By gamma function, we know this. I'll write the formula later. This is sine 5 and sine cos, cos, sorry, cos square. It will be gamma uh, 4 plus 1, 5 by 2, gamma 3 by 2, divided by twice gamma 4 plus 2, 6 plus 2, 8, 8 by 2 means 4. This is the value. Since now let me write why this is there. But by gamma function, we know that since by gamma function, by gamma function, we know that limit 0 to pi by 2, if it is there, sine power m theta, cos, sorry, sine power m, and cos raised power m theta d theta, then the value will be, then this value, will come out as gamma m plus 1 upon 2 gamma n plus 1 upon 2 divided by twice gamma m plus n plus 2 upon 2 this is the formula this is by gamma function similarly we have applied here here it was 4 sine the power 4 in place of m 4 plus 1 means 5 by 2 2 plus this is square cos square 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2 upon gamma 4 plus 2 6 plus 2 8 8 by 2 4 now let me finally solve it 32 pi a q 5 by 2 is gamma 5 by 2 3 by 2 into 1.2 into gamma 1.2 3 by 2 is 1.2 into gamma 1.2 divided by 2 into gamma 4 is factorial 3 that means 3 into 2 into 1 since this I have already clarified that gamma n is equal to gamma n is equal to factorial n minus 1 1 lesser than whatever the number is given so here gamma 4 by this factorial 3 this is 3 okay it is 32 pi a q into now this is 3 by 2 into 1.2 into 1.2 this gamma 1.2 is under root pi and gamma 1.2 is also under root pi divided by 3 4 into 3 this is 4 into 3 now 3 3 cancelled out 4 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 for the 32 for this will you multiply to this 4 8 into 4 32 now this 32 and this 32 cancelled out what is the left over this under root pi under root pi is pi so this is pi square into pi into pi pi square into a q this is the answer here pi square a q finally this is the answer and so the volume of the wheel okay generated by this revolution of this 
curve uh, along the base axis or tangent at the tangent at the vertex. Tangent at the vertex is x of x. This is revolved around x axis, but tangent at the base is x axis in this case. The volume is pi square into 18. Same volume is obtained. Okay, hence it is proved. Question number 10 is finally done, and this question is second question same. This we did when I did this one. Okay, and this I applied by two methods. I think we I did this question number second. Okay, same answer was coming. This is pi square into a cube, which is finally 10th question done. Okay, now this is about parametric equations. Next, I'll take polar equations. After Cartesian, this was now parametric. Next, I'll take polar. Okay, so in this way, volume of the solids is revolution, solids of revolution by polar equations is the next topic, maybe that I'll discuss in the next topic. Okay, so this is all about we are solving volumes of solids of revolution. Okay, first we did Cartesian form, now this is polar parametric form and polar form also I'll do in the next lecture series. Okay, then it will complete the whole what you call volume volumes of solids of revolution. Okay, then surface area is also the topic. Surfaces of solids of revolution. So this is the volumes we are first taking, then surfaces we take next time. Okay, then see you in the next lecture series.